Mississippi's telephone service is 20 years old. Today, telephones in most of the principal countries, territories, and islands around the world are within quick reach of your telephone. Through this switchboard, located in the New York headquarters of the Bell Systems Long Lines Department and other boards like it in San Francisco and Miami, more than 500,000 overseas calls were completed last year. In the year the service started, 1927, 2,000 calls were handled. Nowadays, that many calls or more may be handled in one day alone. Christmas Day, 1946, saw more than 3,000 calls completed. During the war, most countries in Europe and Asia could not be reached by telephone except for military or government calls. But reconversion has been rapid. Normal service was first restored to London, then Rome, then Paris, then Amsterdam. Until now, there are three times as many circuits in daily use as in 1939. A typical call from New York to London goes from this switchboard to a control room. And from the control room to a transmitting station at Lawrenceville, New Jersey by telephone wire. From Lawrenceville, it is sent through the air to Baldock, England. And then by wire to London. The answering voice from London is transmitted from Rugby, England. And picked up at Netcon, New Jersey and brought to New York where both sides of the conversation are joined together. These various steps are blended so quickly and so accurately that for all the caller knows, this might be just another local call. Operators need not speak a foreign language, for English is now the common tongue of overseas operators the world over. And for the overseas caller, no matter whether it's Hello, Zekut, or Hola. The aim of these operators is that of telephone operators everywhere to get the call through promptly and pleasantly.